Turbo Dave 231 here. Today uh, I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to show you how uh, I measure uh, connecting rod side clearance and uh, adjust the clearance if you don't have enough clearance. First off, the uh, just to kind of explain what we're talking about is the surface here, this thrust surface that rides against the crankshaft and that, that happens on both sides of the connecting rod. Um, it, the, the rod floats back and forth on the journal and the uh, proper amount of clearance and come to the right side here the rod should have side to side play all right to measure this what you're going to do is you're going to take a feeler gauge and you're going to put it <clears throat> and let's see here I'm grabbing 11 you're going to put it between the connecting rod and the cheek of the crankshaft and that will be the side clearance. Now the ideal side clearance on a, on a performance engine is somewhere between 10 and 20 thousandths. The, uh, the Buick Motorsports manual uh, calls that out and um, what I like to do is I like to try and keep it more towards the 10, uh, the 10 thousandths rather than open it up towards the 20. Uh, but as you can see some of the numbers here I've got going, I've got 10 on one, I've got 11 on another, here I've got 13. Uh, these all started out around five and six thousands. So they were way too tight and uh, the, the rods I'm working with today are Molinar rods. They came from Mike at Full Throttle, Mike and Marianne, good folks. Um, the, uh, the connecting rods uh, Every set that I've seen from Molinar so far come tight. I mean, they fit the journal, but they're a lot tighter on the side clearance than uh, what you want to run in the engine. Um, the downside to running too much side clearance is that that uh, bearing is going to throw off more oil. So you're going to have more windage in the motor, uh, more oil spraying around and potentially slinging onto to your uh, cylinder walls that... Uh, then that's just more oil that the rings have to, to handle. So uh, controlling side clearance is a, a, a benefit to building oil pressure in an engine. Uh, you're, you're minimizing the leak off of the oil uh, and therefore you build more pressure. So that in a nutshell is why I'm doing it and, and what we'll do is we'll come over here, we'll take our connecting rod over to my bridge port and I've got it set up with a, a rotary table here and the and a, a cutter. I've already done a couple of these so what I need to do now is I need to set down the camera so that uh, I can work here. I'm going to take the connecting rod and, and of the two sides, this is an off-center rod, you've got a, a raised area on this side and you're a much smaller raised area on this side. This is the side I want to machine because what that will do is it'll move the, the rod slightly more towards the center of the bore. So that's the surface I want to machine there. And I'll put it in my uh, free jaw chuck on my rotary table, tighten it down. I want to make sure that the connecting rod sits nice and flat in the, in the jaws of that chuck. <clears throat> I'll lower the table a little bit and start up my bridge port. Alright, pick up the camera again here, show you what I've got going. I'll bring the cutter, I've set my DRO, and I'll bring the cutter back to my zero point. That's where I zeroed my table. I've got the cutter right over the connecting rod now. And I'm going to raise the table. Alright, I'm going to raise the table uh, using this crank. And I'm going to stop just as it starts to, to just to make a little ghost on the connecting rod. And there it is. 
if you can see that, but that's my zero point on my uh, crank on the table. And I'm going to raise that. I'm going to take off five thousandths off of this one. All right. There we go. Now I'm going to turn the rotary table. Just barely shaving the material off of that cheek, about five thousandths. I'm going to lower the table away from the cutter and shut off the mill. Use my hand wheel away from the, the cutter and there you have it. Now I'll take this and put a bearing back in it and put it on the crankshaft and remeasure and I should be right where I need to be. The six that I had before plus five Ought to put me at about eleven thousandths. You know, nice on the on the tight side of that spec. All right. Hope you found it interesting. This is Turbo Dave two thirty one. Take care. Bye now.